Let's talk about this. The Charlotte Knights, they are up for sale. The team announcing today the ownership group, which has been at the helm since 1997, is fielding offers. WCNC Charlotte's Miles Harris looks into what this means for baseball in Charlotte. With the Knights' latest announcement, the team is now up for sale. Fans and spectators wonder what the future for baseball holds within the Queen City. But I'm confident it's the right decision at this time. Roskowski, the chief operating officer for the Charlotte Knights, says the team has started the process of selling the team. Roskowski says that it was a decision that owner Dan Beaver has considered for months now and is finally ready to pull the trigger. So far, the team has gained interest from at least nine potential buyers, some who have local ties, and fans now questioning what's next for the AAA squad. That's kind of shocking a little bit. I mean, uh, I'm not sure who they're going to be selling it to, but are they moving, selling it to move out of Charlotte or are they selling it to for new ownership? I would hope that they would get more ticket sales, uh, draw, draw more of a crowd and uh, hopefully the, the team can continue to win. The Knights have called Uptown home since 2014, but some wonder if the area is a good spot to bring in fans or even take the next step in welcoming a major league team. Would love to see them, you know, or an MLB team go somewhere that's going to attract a lot of people and there's plenty of room to expand. Roskowski insists the team is an attractive buy with a high demand, with Truist Field hosting more than just baseball. Since we've moved to Oaktown, Charlotte, you've seen us lead the country in attendance. Dan Beaver's owned the team since 1997, and the team says that there's no financial pressure to sell the team unless the price is right. And we'll be sure to keep a close eye on any new updates or developments throughout this process. At Truist Field on Miles Harris, WCNC Charlotte.